Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you the best Blocks Roots build for each C. I'll have two builds for the first C, one for when you just start, and one for when you're later on the first C, and one for the second and third C as well. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so early first C, you are going to need a cheap fruit that can pack a punch and also a decent fighting style. So for the early first C build, I recommend you none other than the smoke fruit right here. You can hold the flight move and it damages enemies below you, which can deal massive damage. It's good for farming early game, is a low gear which prevents damage from enemies that are lower level than you, and it's also very cheap, being only a hundred thousand belly. Now for your fighting style, you can either use combat or dark step, which I have right here. Either are a good choice, it's just that dark step is a hundred thousand belly as well, but combat is free because everyone starts with it. You don't need any gun and you don't need any sword, since most in the first C are pretty garbage. For your stats, split them evenly between melee, defense, and blocks fruit, as you are going to want to do damage with your fighting style and your smoke fruit, while also having health in case you get hit so you don't instantly die to enemies that can hit you. Later into the first C, you will have more money and more options. So for the late first C build, we are going to have Light Fruit. It is an extremely fast flight which can be used to get around islands. Like look how fast it is from getting to the middle town over here to the jungle. That's a very good fast flight. It's also a Logia like smoke, so you can go up to an enemy that's lower level than you and they can't hit you as long as they don't have Arky like this. It also comes with this light sword which you can use to damage enemies like that and it uses your fruit stat to do that. It does cost a bit extra money, 650,000 belly, but I think for the speed it's very nice. For the fighting style, you are going to want to use Water Kung Fu. It is the best fighting style in the first C, but it is a little expensive, being 750,000 belly. Now, you can get that at the Fishman Island, which is under the sea, near over here. And over here is Impel, or the prison. So, as you can see, there's the prison, and over that direction is Fishman Island. So you can just head that way and then find the water kung fu seller and buy it from him. You do not need a gun and you do not need a sword yet again because you're still in the first C and the first C ones are pretty bad. For the stats, again, split them evenly between melee, defense and blocks fruits. Alright, so now for the second C, your fruit that you want to use is going to be Awakened Buddha Fruit. Not just the regular Buddha Fruit, you are going to want to awaken at least the first move so you can transform even bigger and be, well, better. Now the Buddha Fruit makes all your sword and melee clicks have much more range and it also makes you take almost half of all damage. But it costs 1.2 million belly, but you can ask a higher level player to help you awaken the first move of Buddha, as that's the only one you need. For your chosen fighting style, you are going to want to pick either Death Step or Sharkman Karate. They both cost the same amount, being 2.5 million belly and 5,000 fragments, but they are your best bet with Buddha in the second C. They have fast moves and fast clicks, while also being good for PvP as well. For Death Step, you need 400 mastery in Dark Step. And for Sharkman Karate, you need 400 mastery in Water Kung Fu to buy them. You do not need any gun, but if you want a gun, you can go for Asidium Rifle, which is what I use right now. Or you can get Kabucha, which is also a really good gun for stunning. You don't need a sword as well, but if you want a sword, you can go for Dragon Trident or True Triple Katana. Now, while using Buddha, 
you are going to want to split your stats evenly between melee and defense. You can do this throughout the entirety of the second C because you will not get max melee and defense while you're in the second C. Alright, so when you're in the third C, you are going to want to again continue using Awakened Buddha Fruit. It's for the same reason as you use it in the second C, as it halves the damage you take and makes your sword and melee clicks have much more range than you regularly do. Now for the fighting style, you're going to want to use Electric Claw, which has the fastest click speed out of all the fighting styles, aside from God Human, which is very hard to get. And it also costs 3 million belly and 5,000 fragments, along with 400 mastery in the Electric fighting style which can be bought in the first C. No gun is needed, but if you want a gun, go for Soul Guitar as it is the best out of all of the guns. And no sword is needed, but if you want a sword, you should go for Tushida and Yama, then get Cursed Jewel Katanas. For your stats, you're going to max out melee and defense, and then once they are maxed out, you either fill up sword or blocks fruit but do not put stats into both of them, only one of them. Then when you're max level, you can eat whatever fruit you want, use whatever sword, gun, and fighting style you would like, and you can just go grind for other things, like money, more expensive fruits, or cool weapons. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.